Welcome to the Tear Talk Podcast with author, coach, and speaker, Mashani Allen. Known as the Golden Scribe, Mashani has over two decades of writing experience, and her passion for the craft has given her the opportunity to impart wisdom, affirmation, hope, and confidence into many. Let's listen now as Mashani delves into topics that have impacted her on her Tear Talk journey and helped her discover the power of the pen. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome to the Tear Talk podcast. So glad to have you join us on today. You know, I was thinking about this week's topic and In actuality, I found myself saying this word in multiple conversations. I think even the more once we got into the month of December and even as we are now in the month of January. And I kept finding myself telling people, you know, I've unsubscribed to that thought process or I've unsubscribed to that belief or I've unsubscribed to that opinion. And I find it interesting that I was using that word so much because during the break, I didn't really, you know, look at my phone too much, look at my emails too much. And when I finally did, I had like over 400 emails in a very, very, very short period of time. And I was so annoyed because I realized I can't just keep deleting. (laughs) I can't just keep deleting these emails because they are going to keep coming back. They're going to keep reaching out. They're going to keep, keep, keep coming. And I was like, oh, goodness, because I've done this before. You know, I've taken the time before to go through my emails, find out what doesn't apply to me anymore and unsubscribe from it. But I found that I needed to do it again. The reason being is I've purchased more things. I've you know, for, you know, um, read something and subscribe to a newsletter. The main thing is I've purchased something. And for some other reasons, now I've been getting communications from all these different people or organizations or systems. So I had to go through the painful task again of unsubscribing from these places. And one thing that I want to say is you're hearing me talk about this in regards to emails, but if you look at an email or your inbox as your brain, the same thing happens. We've got thoughts, we've got ideas, we've got beliefs, we've got opinions, we've got perspectives constantly being put in our minds whether from the outside or whether from the inside. It's just input information that is constantly, constantly, constantly coming. And as we are now in still in the beginning of a new year, which is going to require a new you, I admonish you to take the time to literally begin to unsub. (laughs) Scribe. <laughs> now, the definition, because y'all know me and Webster are BFFs, um, to unsubscribe means to stop subscribing to an email listing, to choose to no longer receive email communications from a company or an organization. You know, that makes me want to look at real quickly what it means to subscribe. But while I look at that, you know, I want you to see that when it comes to unsubscribing, that requires effort. That is not something that is just going to happen. You have to do your part. 
you really have to do your part. And I know that it can be annoying because (laughs) as I'm thinking about this, I'm remembering the whole process. And with some emails that you try to unsubscribe from, you can't even find, you can't even find the unsubscribe button. They have strategically placed it in a way to where you can get so frustrated that you're just like, forget it. I'm not, you know, I'll just delete it the next time. (laughs) But that's not fair if you no longer want that type of information or that type of communication um, to keep coming to your inbox or for us to keep coming to our minds. You know, some people make it real easy. And then, or some systems make it real easy. And then some systems make it very, very, very difficult. I just want you all to consider the parallel of being able to do how you do this naturally. It's something, or when I say naturally, I mean via email. I want you to also parallel this with how your mind is and how your mind works because there are things that we have subscribed to. And a lot of times when I think of the word subscribe, I think of something that we bought into, something that we have accepted, something that we have found to be true, something that we like, that a lot of times that's what a a mental subscription, I should say, would look like. And the thing about it is we may have bought into it. We may have liked it. We may have received that information, but sometimes we shift, we change, we mature, we grow, we advance. So things that we bought into before, we may not feel the same way about it now, but that doesn't stop the information from still coming to us. The only thing that stops it from coming is us doing our part. <laughs> In making the choice followed up by the action to begin to unsubscribe. And I have found it in some circles to be extremely challenging when you begin to unsubscribe from thought processes or ideas or systems. It can be very challenging. It can be very hurtful because you're questioned as to why you're unsubscribing. It's not always taken as a positive thing when you begin to unsubscribe. It can sometimes be considered offensive to some people when you choose to unsubscribe. So these are, these aren't always things that we consider, but they are things that should be considered, but they shouldn't cause you to not unsubscribe. You shouldn't feel fearful. You know, if you no longer believe in something, if you no longer agree with something, you should feel okay saying, you know, not, not anymore. And the word subscribe, one, one means to give consent or approval. So at one point you gave that thought process, that idea, that opinion, that perspective, You gave them approval in your mind. You gave approval for it to be in your mind. But sometimes you have to realize, you know, I no longer approve of this. I no longer consent (laughs) to this. So therefore, I'm going to unsubscribe. Now, when I think of the word unsubscribe, I think of Romans 12 and 2. And y'all know I love the Amplified version. And it says, do not be conformed to this world this age, fashioned after and adapted to its external superficial customs, but be transformed, changed by the entire renewal of your mind, by its new ideals and its new attitude. Listen, when you, <laughs> when you operate it negatively, And now you've begun to see things positively. 
Oh my goodness, you have to unsubscribe from so <laughs> many things. And sadly, sometimes you got to unscribe from people. You got to unscribe from what you watch. You got to unscribe from what you hear. Because if you don't, it will continue to feed what you say you no longer want to be or you no longer want to reflect. You know, I know that there was a point when I could be very, very negative, negative in my speech, negative in my mindset. And I had to start making decisions. You know, this is not who I am. This is this is not who I'm called to be. This is not how I'm called to function. This doesn't feel good because I realize, especially when you're negative and you're you, you find joy in other people's worst moments, you find joy in other people's bad circumstances, something ain't right. Something is off when you can't find compassion. You know, something is off. But when you when you no longer want to function like that, you have to adjust. You have to unsubscribe for in, from anything that feeds that to want to be a good thing. <laughs> you have to find the things that put parameters in place and cause you to be like, no, nah, that ain't right. You know, that's not something to laugh at. That's not something to find joy in, because if anything, it shows the insecurity that you have on the inside of you. And that's something of realization I had to come to. My willingness to downgrade people when I used to do that, it wasn't so much about the person. In actuality, it was about me. And my insecurity caused me to find fault in everyone else. But now that I have matured and I have developed and I know who I am, I don't need to downgrade another person that does absolutely nothing for me. So I had to unsubscribe from that whole thought process. And it wasn't easy when it was something that you did all the time. But I had to force myself in my thoughts and in my actions my thoughts and my actions reflected that I no longer subscribe to that process. And it's interesting because when you begin to unsubscribe from different email systems, not only are some of them challenging to find, others are challenging in how they let you out. <laughs> So some of them easily just allow you, you know, to check a box and be done. But some of them is multiple questions. Like, why don't you describe? Why don't, why do you want to unsubscribe? Are you sure you want to unsubscribe? If we send you less communications, would you, would you still stay subscribed? And it's like, what? What? I, what? What should I have to go <laughs> through all of this? <laughs> Because I no longer want to receive your communications. But that is how it can be when we're renewing our minds, when our minds are being renewed with new ideas and a new attitude, a better attitude. Know that sometimes it may come easy, but other times it can be a fight. It can be a daily fight, but no that you are worth it and the desire to be changed and to be a better you is worth it as well. Now, some of the reasons why systems, some of the questions I should say people ask of why you no longer want to be a part of their email list is one of the reasons is you're emailing them too often. Another reason, and I think this is the one that's most relevant, is the content isn't relevant to them. Like I said, many times when you are receiving emails, you subscribe to it at one time. But there does come a time when you, when you, it's, it's, it's no longer relevant to you. And that is perfectly fine. And I have found that there are some things that I <laughs> that I will subscribe to for years, mindsets, opinions, perspectives that I, listen, I was all in. 
at one point. Look, I was a teacher of some stuff <laughs> at one point. But maturity has a way. And I think for me, my desire to represent image and likeness really shifted how I view people, how I view systems, and how I view things. And that desire really is what caused me to begin to unsubscribe from a lot of things when I wanted to really reflect the character, the love, the joy, the peace, the long suffering, the gentleness, meekness. When I really wanted to reflect the character, a good character, it really caused me to begin to unsubscribe and wasn't always comfortable, but I can say that it was definitely, definitely, definitely worth it. I found that a lot of times we don't even check our brain, our inbox, because the stuff that we've been hearing for so long, it's been going unchecked. So it just keeps coming. But there comes a day sometimes when you're like, you know what? I can't take this no more. <laughs> I got, this ain't me. I, why, why is this in my inbox? This ain't how I think. This is what I, this isn't what I believe. <laughs> you know, how, how do you still have access? Because we haven't unsubscribed. And you know what's so interesting? Even as I'm doing this podcast today, I was just thinking earlier in this week, I am now getting emails when I tell you from stuff that I purchased like 10 and 15 years ago. It's like, why do they still have access to me? And it's just like it's the beginning of the year. And I don't know if they have gone and found every email list that they have ever had in their server. But somehow I was still on it. And I, again, had to do the dutiful task (laughs) of letting it be known. And then, you know, what's interesting? I have found there are things, some places that are tricky because they have so many different types of newsletters and so many different email lists to where you have been subscribed to so many that you can unsubscribe for one, but you still get communications. And it's like, you know what? This is ridiculous. I no longer want to see (laughs) your emails. I no longer want to get this information. And for some of us, that means unfriending people, That means blocking out things. Sometimes that just means a social media break because we don't even realize how overwhelmed we are with information constantly. And sometimes when you're even just scrolling, it's like, wait, what? Wait, what? Oh my gosh, seriously? So sometimes we have to unsubscribe by not making our eyes available to certain things. You know, not making our ears available to certain things. I know when I have conversations with people, there are some people, the whole conversation is just negative. It's just like, you know, those conversations can't last long. Because you've unsubscribed from negativity and you can hear when it's going in that direction and you have to make a decision. Are you going to feed it or are you going to shut it down? When you shut it down, that shows that you have unsubscribed. When conversations become unloving, are you going to feed it or are you going to unsubscribe? subscribe. You know, it's interesting because I've been having different types of conversations with people and I have had to adjust in how I have perceived things like my perspective. I've had to shift it because a lot of times I've only had my perspective and I haven't had other people's perspectives. And when I began to gather 
and hear other people's perspectives, sometimes I've had to unsubscribe from mine to embrace theirs so I have a greater perspective of which I'm making decisions and how I'm seeing things. Like unsubscribing is not something when it comes to our hearts and when it comes to our minds, it's not something that's a one and done. You know, we have to constantly, you know, make sure that we are renewing and we are unsubscribing that doesn't line. We are unsubscribing from things that don't line up with our now. And I think that's the biggest thing that I want you to take from this podcast. Understand that there are things that you subscribe to in the past. But what you want to make sure is as we are in this new year, which is going to require a new you, that you unsubscribe from things that don't apply with your now. There are people that you can have a conversation with that talk to you about who you were 10, 15, 20, 30, sometimes even 40 years ago. But that's not who you are now. Those words don't apply to you now. That mindset doesn't apply to you now. And if you have people that can only see your past, but not your present, you may want to balance how much you allow communication and you really want to be careful of how much you allow their thought process of you to become your thought process of you. You have to unsubscribe from those thought processes, even concerning you, but even in your own mind. You know, you have to be balanced in how you see you. Be like, no, that that's not who I am anymore. And be okay saying that and standing in that boldly without regret. We've all done things that we're not pleased with. But we don't have to carry on with that subscription. (laughs) We can unsubscribe from who we used to be because we have a new subscription now. We have a new mind. We've been transformed. We are transforming. We are maturing. And in order to do that successfully, we have to unsubscribe from who we no longer are. And that is a process. And that is a journey. And sometimes that will require tears, but it's okay. We can let our tears talk and we can embrace who we are now and unsubscribe from who we are not. I pray that this Tear Talk podcast blessed you and that the next time that you see that a podcast has loaded, that you decide to press play. Thank you for joining the Tear Talk podcast. You can purchase today's featured t-shirt and learn more about Mashani by visiting MashaniAllen.com. Also, check out her exclusive line of custom journals at bit.ly forward slash the golden scribe.